Hi guys and welcome. In this lecture I'm going to show you how to use the modifying command. First of all I'm going to explain the move thing. So let's assume that we have this thing over here, okay? And you want to move this whole shape from a point to another. Let's assume we have like this line. And you want to move this shape from this here to another point or to the end point. If you want to move, you have two ways of doing this. You can do the selection first, select all the shapes, and then do click on the moving thing, specify the point that you want to click that you want to move it. And as you can see, you can move it from anywhere. We have like the other way. You can press on the move thing, do the selection, then you have to press enter, and then specify the point that you want to move from, from here to here. And as you can see, it is all the same. But what if you want to move just only this one? You have to activate it or select it, press the M, um, the move button, specify the point you want to move it, and then for example move it to here. See? Very easy. Not only the lines you can move, you can also move the circles. So you can see that there is this circle, and you can move it by activating it, moving it, you can move it whether from the center, the tangent, the intersection, the in this intersection. I prefer to move it from this intersection. I'm going to zoom out using the mouse wheel. You can see that the circle has been moved to this place. So, uh, it is very easy for the move command. Let's go to the rotate thing. What if you want to rotate this shape with a, a 90 degree or flip it on? You can whether have two, you have two ways as we say. Whether you do the selection, then click on the command, or you click on the command and then do the selection, then enter. Okay? We did the selection first. We're going to use the rotate. You have to specify. Let's see down here in the command, rotate, specify the base point. This is the base, the base point. As you can see, I can rotate it whether in this side, this side, this side. You can rotate it in the direction you want. I want to rotate it in here. See, it is, has, it is rotated. It is rotated around the point you have selected. Okay? There is some other options for rotating like this then pressing enter as we told you specify the base point as they telling you for example this point see we are moving the shape around the point we have selected for example like this it is very easy very simple now we have like some other commands that i'm going to show you first of all let's draw a line like this Press enter and then let's zoom in to this thing. As you can see, there is some extra lines going out the shape that we want. I want only this shape, this, 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 and this. I don't want the extra line here, the extra line here, the extra line here. So, if you want to select it or delete it, if you did this and then press delete, you can see that the whole line has been deleted. Press Ctrl Z for the undo. I just wanted the extra line here to be deleted. So, what we are going to do, we are going to use the trim command. Click the trim command. You have to select all the area or all the lines related with this line. So, press this, select this area. And then press the right click. 
Now, where is the line that you want to delete? This line, as you can see that the line you want to delete has been a little bit hidden. Okay? Click on it. As you can see, it has been trimmed. Now, press Enter. Now, we want to trim this line. Again, go to the Trim. Select this thing. Then, the right click. I want to delete this line. See, click on it, and it has been trimmed. Very easy. Now again, with me, do with me. This line, we have to choose the trim command. Select all the intersection area. Right click, and then click on this trim. So. You don't have to press enter now. If you want to trim this thing, this thing now, you can do it right away. As you can see, you can trim two lines in the same time. You don't have to redo it again. Enter. So, let me show you again and do it together. For example, if we have this line, then this line, then this line. And then we have this line. Okay. We want to trim all these extra lines. I want to only have this four-sided shape. Okay. Go to the trim. Select the whole shape. And then right-click. And now you can trim all those shapes at the same time. But you have to select all the lines related with the extra lines. Okay. Trim this this. You can also use the selection or the box selection. You can do this. See? Very easy. You can click on the right click of the mouse. Once the selection box has appeared, choose the things that you want and then it has been deleted. Again, here, you can click it one by one or one click by the right click of the mouse. Let the selection box appear, select the thing that you want, and then choose them. And then, once you have trimmed all the things that you want, just press enter. See? Now we have this shape without any extra lines. And this is for the trim option. We have some other options here. We have the copy thing. Click on the copy. Select the shape. As you can see here, they are telling you to select objects. Let's see. You can select this line, this line, this line. I want to select this line. Then right click. Where is this? Where is the paste point that you want to move it from? See? Now it has been copied. You can do a lot of copies with one move. Copy, 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 copy. See? Very easy. Now, once you're done, press enter. Again, if you want to copy a line, you can do it. And if you want to copy the whole shape, you can do it also as well. Click on the copy. Select this whole thing. Then right click. Specify the base point you want to move from. As you can see, you can copy the whole shape. Very easy. Now, once you're done, press enter, and then all the copies has been created. We have some other things and other options. I guess it's a little bit messy now in the drawing space. Let's delete the whole thing here. Zoom out. Do this. And delete. Let's just draw a circle. Let's go to the center and radius. What if I want to copy this circle, or I, I'm sorry, what if I want to do a mirror thing for this circle? Let's draw, for example, triangle. And let's delete this. Okay. Now, let's choose the mirror thing. Where is the object? Select the objects that you want to. Me do the mirror thing for. You can do it for only one thing, one line, 
or you can select the whole shape. I want to rotate the whole shape or I want to mirror the whole shape. Enter. Selected. Now do enter or the right click. Right click. Then they are telling you to specify the first point of the mirror. And by this they mean the line that you want to do the mirror around. I'm going to choose this and this line. You can do it along this line. As you can see around this line. Around this line, around this line, but I'm going to choose from here to here. Select this point, then now they are telling you erase the source object. If you want to choose yes, yes, if you want to choose no, no. I don't want to erase the original shape, then no. Now, as you can see, we have like this mirror triangle. Let's do it again with the circle. Again, sorry, choose the mirror. Select the whole shape that you want to do the mirror thing for. Right click. And then specify the first point that you want to do the rotation around. I want to rotate it. You don't have to choose anything on the drawing. You can choose just any line from here to here. Now, erase the source, the source point. No. As you can see, the circle with the line has been mirrored around a line in here between. Very easy. And this is for the, the mirror thing. What, now let's move on for the thing called the fillet. The fillet is something related with making the hard or the pointed angles something more round or more like wavy or curvy, creating curves from this angle. So let's click on it. Activate the, the command. You have to select the line that is related with the angle. I want to select this and this. Okay. I'm sorry, I guess it has been disabled. Select these two points. Select the fillet thing. This one and this one. I guess there's something. Now select second object or select the radius. Let's press for example 50. I'm sorry, let's do it again together. The fillet. Okay. It's my first object. This is the first object. Select second object or shift select to apply corner. What is the wrong? Uh huh. Let's do a rectangle thing. Let's go for the fillet. I'm sorry, I guess there's something wrong with the program. So, I'm going to explain the fillet again. I guess there is something wrong with the software right now. But that's it for all the modifying commands.